it's block it blocks sonic wafers it's been a while since I have posted a video and this is probably going to be a brief one just wanted to let you all know I am still out here concert buddy was kind enough to uh, notice my absence and mentioned it on the Instagram thank you for that uh, I am on a short hiatus but I just wanted to pop in let you guys know there's a huge event coming up next week as a matter of fact it's going to be my birthday next Friday June the 9th and uh, I want to give everybody time because I know they're clamoring to uh, send some VCLT my way uh, and you know I, I really appreciate the, the effort and the thoughts I want to let everybody know that I'm not a big metal head I don't particularly care for hip hop or rap and I don't like hat act country but I do like alternative country and Americana even some bluegrass I like jazz I like rock Cajun, all kinds of music. If you've watched my videos, uh, you have an idea of where I'm coming from. I went out and uh, got myself some VCLT from me to me, which I have posted a photograph of it. If you've seen an earlier video I did, I'm, I'm pretty sure I did one regarding my Nuggets collection. And I just couldn't let this pass me by the 50th anniversary of the album that started. The revelation, it says. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do unboxings of this, so everybody pretty much knows what it's about. And I realized after I got it that uh, most of this stuff on the bonus LPs are included in the four CD box set, which I've already got. So uh, I'm still happy to have this stuff on vinyl. There are a few tracks in here that I don't believe are, are in the box set. I could be wrong about that. I couldn't find 96 Tears by question marking the Mysterians in, in the box set, but it might be in one of the others. Uh, so let me know if, if you know some songs that are or are not in here that are in the box set. Anyway, it's a lovely presentation. They did a really good job with the box, the poster, the booklet's kind of kind of thin and not a whole lot to it. But still, great package. And while I was uh, picking that up, I also ran across this album by Yarn, This Is The Year. Yarn is a country slash Americana slash rock uh, type outfit, and I have actually seen them a couple of times because they have appeared at our local uh, annual festival called Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion. If you're not familiar with it, uh, you can go to bristolrhythm.com and check out this year's lineup, which will be in September. This album was uh, cut by a local fellow, Clinton Holly, who is with Well Made Music. I've mentioned them before. Well Made Music moved here from Cleveland, Ohio, uh, and set up shop just around the corner from uh, Bristol's birthplace of country music museum. Uh, so I'm excited about that. I give them a plug at every opportunity. They do a lot of uh, uh, mastering for coal mine records, if you're familiar with coal mine. And you can go to Well Made Music's website and see 
uh, a list of, of albums and product projects that they have done, which is quite a few, I and mean, they're they're moving up in the world. And Yarn is doing pretty well as well. This is, uh, I think, their first album, and they have another one after this. Uh, and it was only six bucks, so I had to grab it. So that's kind of it. That's my update for the time being. I haven't really been in a position to uh, go out and pursue a bunch of albums. Uh, not that I, I don't wish I could. There's a whole bunch of things I'd like to catch up on. Uh, and maybe someday that will be possible. But I just wanted to let everybody know I'm still out here. Howdy. If you are interested in getting on the VCLT train, uh, you can shoot me a message down below here and, and I will contact you with uh, shipping information because uh, I don't think everybody out there has my address. Another plug, the Down Home. That's a t-shirt I got in 1999, although the Down Home has been in existence for since 1976. My favorite listening room. They have nothing but top quality live music. And that is their emphasis. It's kind of like the Bluebird Cafe where they will tell you to shh if necessary. But anyway, word of mouth is a powerful thing. I hope everybody's doing well. I've been watching a lot of people's videos, so I, I know y'all are still out there, and I'm still in here. So check in. Great to see you. Uh, I've been enjoying watching Rachel and Sue get their new place set up, and it's looking great. Bye, everybody.